Tungsten Tales here at Lakeside. Glenn Durrant, 2017 Lakeside World Professional Darts Champion. Might sound a silly question, but how does that sound? Pretty spectacular. I think that's the third or fourth time I've been asked that question now, and uh, pretty amazing, to be honest with you. Just a, a, a culmination, a, a conclusion of a dream. Now, talking about the game, uh, the early sets, there was a break and a break back, and then a hold and a hold back, and a break and a break, but it was just to and fro for those first six sets. When you got to that 5-3, we see you make a little sign to the crowd there, as if to say, I've got it now. Was that how you felt? I'm a front runner. You know, I just needed to get in front, but each time he kept coming back. I, I remember going to set up and then opening up with a 180, and, and, and he followed that as well. So it was really, really tough, but all the time I felt really good. Uh, I felt really happy where I was at. I just couldn't get, you know, it, it's such a mind game. It, it's, it's how your body is. I can't explain how my nerves were going for that 48 at the end. It's, it was Martin Adams all over again three years ago. It was Scott Waits coming back to me. So it's just holding yourself together there. It's, uh, it's just the best stage to play darts on, it really is. Now, something you alluded to in your interview on the TV about how six years ago you said you weren't even the best player in your Super League team. How have you gone from that to now world master, Finder master, world champion? Well, there's a guy called Peter Searle, and if he ever watches this interview, natural talent. But, you know, he did he work at his game hard enough? I've worked, you know, I've been really determined. I've worked really hard. I've practiced between one and five hours every night for the past, you know, five, six, seven, eight years. But it was the introduction at the Teesside ranking events. A guy called Colin Foxton built an hockey, knocked on my door, and I went to every pub and club in Redcar and Cleveland to create some competitions. We mirrored the Bradford Darts uh, model, well, where we uh, had 10 competitions a year uh, and I'd be the, I, you know, the best of the North East were coming to Teesside and you know, I was dominating them. You know, some of the great players in the North East. So I learned how to go into a club at 10 o'clock on a morning and at 6 o'clock at night walk away with a title. So um, to take that away then onto the BDO where it took me a year I was going to the Dutch Open, I was going to Belgium where, you know, I wasn't really sure, you know, I was learning all the time, you know, which flight to get, which train to get, what time to go to the venue, I was learning all the time and then, you know, maybe three years ago something really, really clicked and, um, you know, I just began to win tournaments and winning competitions, you know, in tournaments breeds confidence and I was walking into places thinking, who am I going to play in the final? So then when you start winning things like the Finders Masters and, and, and the World Masters, then you know that you're on the top of your game. But this week I felt pressure like no other time. And, uh, you know, Paul Hogan must be sat there now thinking, you know, how on earth has Glenn Durham won the title? But that's exactly how I felt last year when Scott Waits, I felt, took that title away from me. So I'm not going to feel sorry for about myself, you know. Paul Hogan had a dart to double to take me out, or three dart to double to take me out. He didn't. I'm a huge believer in fate, and fate was on my side. Now, like you say, it's sometimes something happens and you just feel that your name is on the trophy. It's happy we see it in football all the time. I know you're a big football fan. Liverpool, when they won the Champions League, they went through several stages. Was that something that went through your mind to help your confidence, to think it might just be my year? I was trying to use that as a positive, but each time I came to the semi-final, I mean, if you could have saw me at round about midday today, you know, I just wasn't feeling well. I was, I was extremely nervous. My, you know, my brain said you should be out of the competition, enjoy it. But in reality, I was feeling because because of the hunger and the desire that I wanted for this title, maybe too much. Um, but it's in my hands now, and for the next 12 months, it's going nowhere. Now, just finally, just a quick word for Danny. Obviously, he was the debutant this week, played a brilliant game all week. Obviously, not quite there in the final, um, but uh, he's one for the future over in you know, the lakeside. He's 26 year old, you know, I'm, I'm closer to 50 now. So his time is round the corner. That's pretty much what I said to him at the end. Uh, 
I didn't realise how big of a score he was. And he was look, he was a couple of doubles away there from being the you know the Lakeside champion. I'm not gonna pussyfoot about anything like that. So, but it's in my hands right now, and I'll, I'll dissect that match. I'll look at that match over the years because you know, that was the day I became Lakeside champion. Well, it is one to savour. I'll say it again, 2017 Lakeside World Champion, Glenn Durrant. Thank you very much for talking to us all week and today. All the best for the future. Thank you. Anytime and great work, lads. Thank you. Thank you.